friends as we already talked about db creating index is an important uh, concept in mysql and index is a creating index is a ddl statement like other function or other create statement so now what we are going to do we are uh, going to create market fact uh, temp as a create table and then we will uh, we will do index sql query on that particular table what we are going to do we are going to do uh, create table market fact temp we are given the name of we are creating a different table as select a star from market fact table we are uh, creating a table market fact time from market fact food so if we are going to run it if we are going to execute it you will see and refresh here in a schema you will see there is a another table create this is name is market market fact time now after it we will play around the create index my sql query so for testing purpose i have created a copy of market factful which named this market fact time this is for testing purpose of this so what uh, we are going to do create table filter index index name is filter index on the table name and on the columns name which you want as i already sh show you in my previous video what will be the syntax syntax will be create index index name on table name column one column two column three column n. this is the same so if create index fil named filter index on table columns one column two column three then if we are going to run this and see here filter index is created in market fact time there is a filter index is created if you click here you will see index name and column name you will see the column name will be these three so this is how we can create the indexes now if we want to uh, alter table we want to uh, drop the table that we have created there is no no kind of application no kind of use we are having here so we will put alter table table name drop index and drop index and the name of index table so if we are going to run this and now if we are you will see filter index is nowhere till now there was it was here in my index now it's not here okay i hope you understood how to use create index alter table drop table these kind of simple ddl commands in indexing so guys uh, now what i am going to show you there is a one more uh, point one more thing here uh, clustered and known clustered index there is a concept of clustered and known clustered index here so i want to show you something here let for say we are going to we want to see all the uh, columns of market factful if we are going to run this it will show you serial number it will show you some other column sales order quantity and other things so if we are going scroll down in here we will see this is working as index market fact id and other two three columns like cust id and sales customer id is quite different and the sales is also different for that particular customer id maybe they have ordered twice so what we can do if we want to identify our data one thing we can use it as an index it is known as clustered index another thing if we uh, don't have index kind of thing in our, our 
output we can have some other attribute which may be in the table or may not be in the table which may be in the table or the most the part of tables so what we can do we can so we can what we can do we can uh, take these attributes as the part of index and we can specify these attribute with row numbers here as the part of as index so we can identify our data so this type of uh, index is known as known clustered index now what are the difference between both For, to see this we will go to here first i already told you about this these are the common command for creating index create index index name on table this similarly for adding alter table table name add index similarly for draw as we have already discussed about it so come to the point there is a clustered and non clustered index what is clustered index this is mostly the primary key of the table you should understand this is mostly the primary key of the table and non clustered index is a combination of one or more column of the table or from the outside part of the table so you can see the difference another one difference is the it is present within the table the unique list of keys is present outside the table so if we are going to cluster index it does not require a separate mapping but the external table points required separate mapping take points to different section of the main table so it requires separate mapping it is relatively faster because it's a primary key or the part of the table it is relatively lower so uh, from my side this is all about index index their command their types uh, their application their advantages all i have told you what is basically index in my sequel how to create it how to write it how to drop it and how to use it index is a important concept for database management for retrieving the data from dbn so it's very very important topic i ho hope you understood what is the uh, difference between clustered non clustered index and what are the syntaxes we can use for applying in for creating indexes for our uh, already we already have table or our database okay friends please uh, create some more example for some more uh, with some more uh, query to see at your own what is going to happen if you create indexes okay thank you thank you so much